So getting ready to bring about 20 bartenders out on a hike today talking about edibles and medicinals and just happened to come by Cherry Tree. I don't see them out here too much. So I'm pretty stoked. Just gonna keep on uh, hunting and see what I find today. Here's some other good ones. Look at that. Ready to grub right there. Big sycamore tree. A lot of you guys are probably familiar with these. It gets kind of furry, the leaves on the bottom, especially when they're young and they have these little balls that hang off of them that are a great indicator. But uh, it's a good tree to, you can use the leaves and wrap your food in them. And uh, also, this is the only tree here in California that I'm aware of that you can actually tap for sugar or syrup. So you'd want to hit the south side, right under the largest branch, and tap it. And uh, one of the few places I know to potentially get some syrup out here. Ragweed growing like crazy. Supposedly it's good for getting rid of poison ivy, poison oak. I have not tried it myself, but the next time I get into it, I might give it a go because I am highly allergic. Let's see if we can get this guy in. Got a hummingbird sitting right there. Say it's good luck to see the hummingbird sitting on just a willow here. Willow is great for cordage, aspirin with the inner bark. Also makes decent bows. I've made several around the 20 to 30 pound, or 30 to 35, 38 pound range. So lots of <clears throat> mule fat out here. You can identify the mule fat with these tops have flowers on it. it looks a lot like willow, but willow doesn't have flowers like that. And uh, the, the leaves, especially when it's warm outside, if you play with them a few times, they get kind of sticky. And the biggest indicator for me is how straight the lines are on the bark. So, let's see if I can get this in for you guys. See how it's got straight lines going all the way up and down. My favorite material for hand drill. Also great for arrows. You can watch some of my other videos to check that out. Definitely a good plant to know. You can forage on it. They say it's a famine food. I can attest it does not taste good. But if you're hungry enough, I guess. California buckwheat, ready to eat. You want to eat it when it's brown, so you get the most nutrients from the seeds. You can winnow it if you want, I generally don't. You can definitely eat it right off the trail. You can see how quickly you could gather large amounts of it, which is uh, somewhat unique to foraging. Lots of times it takes a lot of effort to gather a little bit of food, but high in carbs, uh, good, good one to know quick trail food. I've made uh, crackers and pancakes with it. You do need some kind of binder, so like cattail root, starch, or I generally just use wheat flour. Toy own bush. This, they say that Hollywood was named due to all the red berries along the hillside where you see the, the word Hollywood. In reality, they were toy own bushes, but these are actually high in cyanide when they're green. They're actually ripe around the December time frame. They'll turn a bright red, and uh, they're pretty tasty. You want to use some kind of heat to break down whatever remaining cyanide there is, but as they turn green, the cyanide retreats into the plant. But uh, I've used them just in a tea and it reminded me of kind of like a sour cherry or sour cranberry or I prefer to dry them and use them as a trail mix or just you know trail food and they store really well uh, eat pretty decent too 
one of the few that I know that's good uh, in the December time frame to harvest. Cottonwood tree. My favorite for bow drill, as well as uh, the hearth board for a hand drill, it works pretty good too. Easily recognizable with these big green leaves that make a nice noise in the wind. Also, not only for a hearth board and stuff, but the quality of this inner bark is awesome. You can make cordage with it. It makes a great tinder bundle. Also, cottonwood is a good indicator of water. So, not as good as willow, but it's a fair, fair indicator of water. So, medicinally, the cottonwood the buds that come out early in the spring are supposedly the best, but uh, decoction of the bark or making a salve is supposed to be really good for arthritis. Luckily, do not have arthritis yet, so haven't tried it, but another good one to have in your apothecary. Another one of my favorites, mugwort. Made some beer out of this with mugwort and agave syrup. Ended up tasting like a tawny port and uh, was definitely an interesting glow. They say you can put it under your pillow to have very lucid dreams. It's related to wormwood, I believe, which was uh, what they make absinthe out of. That is a hallucinogenic liquor that Picasso cut his ear off on. Also, this stuff right here, the leaves themselves, if I crush them up, roll them together. You can see they make a really good tinder. This, if you've ever had acupuncture and ever heard of moxa, this is the moxa. Indians, I, I focus primarily on the kumiai. The Indians would use this, put a large uh, bundle together, put it between two sticks and use it to carry a coal. If you've ever done primitive fire before, you know you don't want to be doing that at each, each camp spot. So, great way to carry an ember. Oak tree, huge source of food for the Indians. Harvest these around the October time frame. Make sure to leach the tannins out, or else uh, you will definitely have a stomach upset. Watch my acorn processing video if you're wanting to try these out. A cool one to play with, in my opinion. Made pancakes and noodles and all different kinds of stuff out of this. They say the Indians, the Kumeyaay around here, a family of four would eat as much in a year that would fit in a VW bug. So huge resource for the Indians. Use it as a food extender, meat extender, or just make a, a gruel out of it. Here's some nice sized rose hips. Look at how big these guys are. So great for vitamin C. Just remember if you eat them, there is a bunch of hair in the center, so be cautious of that. You don't want to be gagging on it. Or uh, makes a good juice or jam. Look at all of them. Good stuff. California so Coastal Sage Scrub smells awesome, aka cowboy cologne. Is great for bedding. If you're going to make a primitive shelter to keep the bugs out, they don't like the smell of it. Um, is uh, smells really good. I like it in, uh, also for skewers, like for fish and whatnot. And once in a while, you'll find little white galls on them, and they are great for fire making. So it's actually not a true sage. I believe it's in the Artemisia family. But uh, another good one. Definitely like cooking with this one. White sage. Awesome plant. Tastes really good. Makes a great tea if you're sick. That and a little bit of honey. Also really like it to, uh, you, dry, you can dry it and use it to smudge things. And if you think about it, all the antibacterial properties of it basically go into the air so I can see why they used to use it to, you know, bless houses and also around plague victims and whatnot to try to disinfect the rooms. But uh, another good one, really like the sage. When the whirls come out and the, the flowers come out, they're really tasty. 
as well as right after that you can get the seeds out of the out of the whorls good one another good one on the on the medicinal uh, apothecary with a whorehound here probably familiar maybe familiar with the whorehound candy it's supposed to be good for your throat and whatnot if you got a cold tastes really bad so they add a bunch of sugar to it another good medicinal I prefer the white sage over this though if I have a cold and I'm going to have a tea or anything. It's neat. That's the Toyon. Still kind of in flower mode. Pretty cool. So, black sage. This stuff is really pungent. Has some interesting leaf texture to it. It's very relatively sticky. Definitely strong smelling. If you get the whorls again, like the other sages, right when they open up, you can get the seeds out of them. This one's a little late. The flowers, again, are really tasty. Also are pretty much purple. And I once tried using all three kinds of sage, black, white, and coastal sage scrub and stuffed a quail, one with each different kind. And while the black sage, I think, is a little strong for a tea or anything, it was actually my favorite to stuff my quail with. So next time you're out and picking up some squirrel or whatnot, give this a go.